first fields greening up in the spring are often the winter wheat fields. And when we think about winter wheat and spring wheat that's going in the ground, I get excited about helping those things off to a great start. So we're gonna talk about post-emerge herbicides that can be used to control the weeds and help our stands. All right, let's first start with this. When it comes to straight grass products, there aren't a lot of them out there. You've got Everest 3.0, which is an ALS, and you've got Axial, which is an ACCase. Those are the main ones. If you just want straight grass control in the spring, well, which one is gonna be better? Look, uh, the Axial's probably just a little bit better on some of the foxtail species. Everest 3.0 is really good on wild oats, just like it's pretty good on grass species. It's up to you. It's just which chemistry class do you want to go with? That's really your main choice. That is the big choice. Which family do you want to be in? Because there's really only two. Now, when you look at broadleaves, we've got some other choices here. Historically, there have been a couple of main products, Husky and Wide Match. And so the question was, well, do I have Canada Thistle? Do I have Kochia? Wide Match is probably a better choice. With most other broadleaf weeds, well, Husky's been a better choice. But now there are a lot of tank mix type partners that we can use uh, to get different levels of control and a combination of both grass and broadleaf control. Okay, when Darren says there are a bunch of tank mix partners for broadleafs, there really aren't. There's nothing that's new and different where we can say, oh, there's this great new thing that you can use instead of Husky or Wide Match. No. Really what there is, it's the same stuff we've had for a long time, which is 2,4-D, and we don't like 2,4-D because it's too hard on the wheat, or the other choice is you can throw an ALS herbicide in. So we talk a lot about Affinity. It's a combination of the old Harmony and Express. Actually, Brian, there is one new product. It's Culex. It's a combination of an ALS broadleaf killer and a new Group 4 product that's basically the RLX Active. So you've got a couple different modes of action. Really, the Group 4 is the main one that we're looking at here for some of the tougher weeds to control, and it really broadens the spectrum for a lot of programs. And when Darren says Group 4, that's the same chemical family as 2,4-D. The other widely used broadleaf product that we didn't talk about is Talonor. It really fits the same market as Husky, very similar in that it has the same two chemical families. It's got a little bit of the old Bucktril in it, plus an HPPD. A new premix that there is is for grass only. It's called Axial Bull. That's a combination of Axial and the old Puma. I honestly don't know why this is a real big deal because they're both ACCA's products, but if you think you could get a little better activity out of Axial Bull as opposed to straight Axial, well, it's certainly one way to go. Now, a lot of these combinations, Brian, can be a little bit confusing, so let's just run through some of these products like Perfect Match and Open Sky. When we start thinking about perfect match, you've got wide match, and then you have that power flex component that gets used on winter wheat. Well, with power flex, you can't use that on spring wheat. What they ended up doing is changing the safener now, and in the past we had gold sky, okay, and gold sky is still there. So they've got the power flex and then some broadleaf killers together with that power flex, but then they tripled the safener. Well, with perfect match, you've got new safener with PowerFlex, plus you've got Wide Match. Open Sky is basically just the old Gold Sky with the new safener in it. So just a, the same amount of weed control, just a little different safener. Yeah, so let's talk about that, whether you're talking Gold Sky or Open Sky. What it is, is it's Starane for Kochia. It is Florazolam, that's that ALS product that Darren mentioned a little bit earlier. It's got some activity in a number of different weeds. And then you've got that same active ingredient that's in PowerFlex that's got fairly decent activity on downy brome, on cheatgrass, and some activity on some other grass species. Another premix that's getting to be quite popular is Husky Complete. That's just Husky for broadleaves, plus Varro, which is an ALS grass killer. All right, so here's what we would encourage you to do as you go into this spring, because we probably just confused you more than anything. Start with, what's my biggest problem? All right, if your biggest problem is kochia, get something that's got starring in there. If your biggest problem is lamb's quarters, for example, well, you probably want an HPPD, so now we're talking husky or talonor. If you say, hey, I also have grass, then you can start looking at the grass combinations, or if your grass is really bad, we would suggest you spray the grass all by itself. So now we're probably talking Axial or possibly Everest 3.0, and then coming back a week or so later and controlling the broadleaves. And one other thing we didn't mention, because we're talking post products, we really encourage you, use a pre. If you're gonna plant spring wheat this year, use a pre. It's gonna make it so much easier for your post-emerge product to kill every last weed. 
speaking of weeds, we don't want to forget about our weed of the week. We'll show you what'll stop this tough weed later in the show.